Hi, friends. So today, Pastor Brad is going to talk about a parable. A parable is a story Jesus used to teach people. Oh, hold on one second. Hold on one second. I have someone here, and I and I have to have some help with the job. Jesse, yeah, can you give me a hand with something? Yeah, okay. Um, so I need all the orange beads, as many as you can get out of the that cup and into the other cup for this craft project I'm working on. And if you're willing to help me, I have this prize for you. Yeah, okay, all right. So you go ahead, I'll tell you when to stop. You just keep going. So back to you. So a parable is a story that Jesus used to teach people a lesson. Today in our parable, there was someone who thought that something wasn't fair. Well, have you ever said, that's not fair? So I have to admit to you that when I was little, I used that phrase so much that my dad and my stepmom started a, that's not fair jar. And every time my sister or I said, that's not fair, or it's not fair, we had to drop a dime in the it's not fair jar. And it was out of our own allowance. So you will hardly ever hear me say that phrase, it's not fair, because I learned that there were consequences to saying it's not fair. Oh, hold on one second. Hold that thought. I got another helper coming through and I need to grab him so I can get some help with this craft project. Brad, Brad, can you come over and help me with something? Okay, so there's a thing of beads there and I'm gonna need you to get the orange beads out of the cup and put them in the other cup and as many as you can in the time we have. Like, and if you're willing, I got a lollipop for you. Yeah, okay, go ahead and start. I'll tell you guys when to start, just, you know, a little bit longer. So I said it's not fair way too much. Today in our story, that kinda happened. So there were workers and they made a commitment to do the work and there were some that got upset because they felt like they had worked longer and harder and they got the same pay as the ones who didn't work as long or as hard and they thought that wasn't fair. Hold on one second, let me give my workers a little break, okay? Hey guys, hey guys, you can stop. You can, you can stop now. Let me see. Oh, good job. Thanks. This is going to be so great for my craft project. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go, Brad. Here's your sucker. Yeah, there you go. You're welcome. Here, Jesse, that's yours. It's not fair. I worked longer and got more. Yeah, but, but we made an agreement. I just asked you to help and you said yes. And I said there was a lollipop and made the same agreement with Brad. So that's kind of what happened in our story today. The workers got upset because the one who had worked the longest and felt like he had worked the hardest got the same as the one who worked the less amount of time. Sometimes life doesn't seem fair, right? But we have to understand that there's something better than fair. We have God's grace. And God's grace is for all of us, no matter what. And grace is bigger and better than fair. So even if we come to know Jesus at a young age and live our whole lives for Him, or we come to know Jesus later in life and only spend a few years with Jesus, the same grace is offered. It doesn't matter what we've done or who we are. As long as we believe in and follow Jesus, we all get the same grace. We all get the same prize or the same lollipop. So sometimes life isn't fair. Jesse thought he should get maybe a bigger prize than Brad because he had more orange beads. But grace is sweet and grace is good. And just as we have received so much grace from God, we too should be willing to share that grace with others, even when life doesn't seem fair. Will you pray with me? Dear Lord, we thank you for your grace. Help us to look to you instead of the world. Help us to see your goodness, Lord, your wonderfulness, 
your awesomeness instead of taking score to see what's fair in the world. Lord, help us turn to see the grandness and goodness of your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.